What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's me and the only place to be as legal as you catch my steez. Hope you guys are having an amazing day because I am. We are on our way to the Dodge dealership. I kind of just want to see what they have and see like, I don't know, I guess what Hellcats are going for currently. And then um, turn that down, copyright. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to see what Hellcats are kind of going for in the market. Um, since I got my scat pack uh, in September, I've been kind of out of the car market. So I'm, I'm really just curious to see, you know, what's going on out there. And then possibly, you know, in the future, hopefully I can uh, make a deal to where I can get uh, a Hellcat, maybe. I don't know. My mind is still like in the toss up, but we'll just see. So. Honestly, I didn't know Audi made an S8, but uh, we know now. <laughs> we know now. This thing is a fucking huge. It's like a boat, bro. This one has the black uh, diamond stitching as well. AMG C63 S, I believe. And then they got this one, which is a SL63. Yeah, SL63. Very, very nice. Very nice. And then I got the AMG GT S. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? Am I hidden camera? What's that? Am I on hidden camera? <laughs> no, you're fine. Up, I'm Hussein. Dallin, pleasure to meet you. What is it? Uh, Dallin. Dallin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dallas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything you're looking at? Honestly, I'm... Just looking around, admiring, and that's all. That's all. Okay. Absolutely. Um. I do. <laughs> um. If I come up with something, I'll let you know, sir. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Got the Maserati right here. This is a GT 63S. Another one, but it's in blue. Holy. Yeah, dude, this thing is so nice, bro. Like, think uh, what size tire is on this joint? That's what I'm curious. The 315, bro. Holy crap, it's a big tire. <laughs> Holy crap. V8, the S580. Those are cool. Oh, they got that the little Audi wagon, which I believe this is an S6. No. RS, yeah, RSX, I was right. Dude, I think these are V8 twin turbos. Like, something, and bro, this car is insane to say the least. Like, this car is no slouch at all. No slouch at all. Got the Bentley over there, or two Bentleys, another GT63. You got a C8 Vet, a uh, Huracan. Comment down below, let me know. Would you get a, a Huracan or a Ventador? Me personally, I would get an Aventador. I think the Aventadors just look way more aggressive, but that's just me. Really not a fan of the real ugly shit out of law. Dude, this is a LP 6104. It's dope, but can't even really see the interior like that, but all oh, good let me take you guys over here these little audi tt's are kind of they're pretty quick i have a lot i try to wait i try to race one in my black scat pack didn't go over too well i have a lot but i'm gonna just keep walking over here show you guys what's going on they got an m8 competition this is very nice i would love an m8 i'm not gonna lie an m8 competition would be super super dope very beautiful car and then they got one, two, three, four Yurises. And then they got the big, big boy Cullinans over there. They is not playing no games. I'd like, uh, like this one right here. I ain't gonna lie. You know, it's crazy. I see them so often. And I just like, eh. Because right, in Vegas, bro, they be having all types of like exotic cars and stuff like that. Like things like this and... I don't know, I guess you just become like desensitized to it, but until you get one, I feel like it's a different story. You know what I mean? Like, 
not i mean people who have money they got they have a urus but like i don't know for me and or us just like regular joe schmo people like to own a urus is like damn we feel like we're on top of the world you know what i mean look at this this is crazy absolutely crazy oh oh my lord oh my lord that's crazy damn this is i've never seen anything like this this is like look at that i bet you it drives like fucking dog shit though i'm not even gonna lie let's keep taking a look though and as we're looking over here there's a gt350 over there y'all see it that joint tough let's zoom out real quick get you all right look how big like bro look at this look at the comparison bro like <laughs> the tire is half my body look at like what the hell is going on this is tough though but i know y'all seen it too we gotta come over here because they got a good old trackiana this thing is so sick i want one i really do want one comment down below let me know would you guys get a track hawk or would you guys just get a regular hellcat comment down below and let me know i'm a big fan of the track hawks i'm not even gonna lie this is uh the sq8 this is like the competition for the Eurus. i think these are faster either faster or just a little bit slower as far as horsepower is concerned but i mean you get a fat tire you get big brakes you get all the infotainment and stuff like that that you would get in a Eurus. so i don't know comment down below let me know what y'all think so they got a ford raptor it's a six by six fox suspension which you already know it's i already know it's expensive i ain't gonna lie they got the amgs i'm a fan of the g wagons i don't know i don't have to sit in one and all that because like i said certain cars you just see so much out here that it just becomes like all right you know what i'm saying like it's it's whatever at this point but i don't know one of these days one of these days y'all we will have we will have these cars that we are looking at won't be coming up here to film videos we'll be coming up here to buy one one day and we just got to trust the process trust in god you know what i'm saying big cullinan holy shit dude holy shit oh my gosh these cullinans are so massive if you guys haven't seen a cullinan in person highly highly recommend highly highly recommend look at this thing like let's let's back up a little bit let's back up a little bit take a look dude these things are ridiculous bro look then they got the r8 which this is super super sick rolls royce wraith or phantom i can never tell the difference but you got the r8 right here with the, the carbon fiber carbon fiber mirrors as well this is this is super sick let's take a look up here see what they got going on got another cullen in right here with peanut butter guts oh this is the lotus which i mean i don't know comment down below let me know i know this is the new lotus i don't know it's all right but what do you guys think Camera first edition. So that's so that's it. I like it. I like this Ferrari though. I forgot which one this is, but I don't know. Something about this one just so super super menacing car. Super menacing. A 911 Turbo S, which it's not a GT3 RS, but damn, absolutely beautiful car. I would love to own one. They got a red McLaren over there. It's a 7, 720S. The Maserati MC20. I'm just walking around. Who, me? I'm just hanging around. This is sick, bro. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, 570S. 
think I said 720. I'm horribly wrong. Look how low. Dude, I'm taller than the car. That is insane. Could you imagine me, 6'1", getting in a McLaren, like, every day for, like, a year or something? That would be crazy, bro. I wouldn't get, it wouldn't get old because I'd be driving a McLaren. You know what I'm saying? But, damn. Super nice. Well, let's go inside and see what we could get into. Alrighty, y'all. So, we went to the gym at, like, Thank you. I saw like three. Well, workout started at like four. Um, we just got done. It's five thirty-six. Um, did chest, arms, and then hit the sauna. Did some abs. So I'm tired. I'm ready to go to sleep. But I got work at seven. So I'm gonna try to take a little power nap. And then um, after that. Um, later on today, I will make sure I get this uploaded and all that good stuff, but there is something that I want to show you guys, so just stay tuned for that, but, um, yeah, man, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I'm coming to you guys with this video kind of late because I've been working a whole bunch of hours So finally got some daylight out here at Town Square, you know what I'm saying, making this video So here's some things you should consider before you buy like a high mileage Dodge, kind of like mine Mine has 62,000 miles, which let me, guys, let me show you guys real quick what we got going on it's gonna pop up probably not okay there it goes so mine has what is it 63,517 miles now a lot of people kind of with these cars specifically honestly if you're gonna buy one just know it's gonna be hella fucking dogged out especially this one 63,000 miles I don't know much about the previous owner but what I do know car wasn't in an accident which they had the dealership had to replace i think all four tires passenger side of the car and then a control arm so definitely when you are trying to buy any type of mopar or anything like that make sure you look up the van on like a google search or something to see if the car's been in an accident because some dealers won't disclose that information and if they don't they can get in a lot of trouble but that's besides the point um currently my car is running just fine. I already got the oil changed not too long ago. Um, what else? I mean, definitely if you're gonna buy a car like this, you wanna change all your fluids, oil, um, transmission, diff, all that stuff. Make sure you check the tires. Make sure you take a look at the brakes and rotors. Uh, make sure you guys ask the dealer, you know, when's the last time the uh, brakes and rudders got changed out all that good stuff um, and definitely you make sure you want to drive the car bro drive drive the car so you kind of know exactly you know what you're getting into and what the car feels like because you're gonna know if the car has an issue or not now don't mind my car um, it's a little dirty she does need to get washed up but another thing is if you want to you know take a look at the interior as well I mean, being that the, the miles that I have on this car, um, the interior is actually like really, really nice. You really can't see any type of rips or fading or anything like that. Maybe a little bit on the B, but let me guys show you guys the back real quick. So really not that bad. Just a little dirty. Needs a little, a little touch up, a little vacuum, you know what I'm saying? So the inside panel, which I do need to put this on. I need a I, I want to put this on. I will put this on. But let's come over here real quick. Show you guys the other side. Driver's side. So yeah man. I mean for the most part, car's pretty clean considering the miles that it has. I bought it with fifty-eight thousand and some change and now I'm at sixty-three. So um yeah. So yeah, it's a little dirty. It needs to get swept or vacuum, not swept, but 
Y'all see what's going on, man. Y'all see what's going on. If I'm being honest, as far as like driving the car, um, when I first drove it, I really didn't notice anything at all. And even now, I still don't notice anything wrong with the car. The car runs smooth. Um, I, I just, I really don't have any issues with it. Y'all already know my black one, I had 30,000 miles on it, then I sold it. This one has 60, what, 63,000? And it's it runs like it's a brand new car, if I'm being honest. Um, like I said, no issues. Um, the only thing I had was a check engine light, kind of like when I first bought it, maybe two or three weeks after. But super, so, super small, super simple. Got it taken care of, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I mean, I'm enjoying the car for what it is. I'm really happy that I have it. Um, I, there's just no issues with the car guys there, there's really not like you can buy a high mileage dodge but you definitely want to make sure that you go through all everything that everything with the car make sure that oil's good brakes rotors dip like change all your fluids check the interior all that stuff because like i said if you're buying a scat pack an rt a hellcat a red eye a demon a one whatever it is bro if it has higher mileage and, and I, what I mean by higher mileage is like 40,000 and over, you know what I'm saying? So once you get 40,000 miles and over and you're looking at a Dodge, um, or really just these trim levels, like scat, anything RT and above, anything RT and above V sixes, uh, it, they'll be all right. But the V eights definitely want to do all your research on the car, make sure everything is fine and dandy and good to go. So yeah man i think that's really all i got it's really not like a long video by any means so if you guys like the video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe comment down below what you want to see for the next video if there's anything i missed uh please let me know and also if you have a dodge and it's higher mileage or whatever tell me what i don't know tell me some things that i didn't talk about that i should throw just throw that in the comments man throw that in the comments let me know what you guys think but that's all I got for y'all. It's been D Glizzy. Stay the course, stay blessed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.